Hey, hey, hey. So I'm back, y'all, to finish up on my story, my journey with how, where I went from, you know, pretty much broke to building a broke, fired, and getting clients for my business, but then losing the clients for my business because I didn't know the first thing about business to building a six-figure business. So we getting there, y'all. We getting there. I got to break this thing all the way down. Talk about chop, chop, chop. We going to chop it up here, y'all. We going to chop it up so y'all really understand that this was a business that was built from the ground up. When they talk about getting it out the mud, I got it out the mud. I was not playing any games like when it came to this. And so I want to share this information with you. So anyhow, um, um, so in my last video, I told you guys that I ended up losing all my clients and I was completely just at a loss. And I said, OK, this time I have two options here, Tanisha. This is what I thought to myself. I'm talking to myself in, 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 in third form right now. This is what I was telling myself back then. I said, I have two options. I could, number one, go back to work. I'm like, at this point in time, um, I... Uh, let me see. Actually, you know what? Let me back up. I did go back to work. When I was sitting here talking about some, uh, I said I had two options. No, I went back to work. Now, mind you, in this time when I had all my other clients, I end up, I was pregnant at this time. I was pregnant with my last child. Now, mind y'all, we talked about how I already had, was taking care of six. I end up getting pregnant at this time. And um, when I lost all my clients that I had for my billing company. I was pregnant at that time. I was pregnant. I end up having my daughter when I was six months pregnant. I was six months pregnant. I was like 26 weeks. So she was a premature baby. She was born early. And I want to say the reason why I had her early because I was under a lot of stress. I was under a lot of stress. Um, there was just a lot of stuff going on. And so I, it, I gave birth early. I gave birth early and um she was in the hospital for like three months so around this time i was still trying to um like should i work my business should i not you know i was kind of going through this this phase of what i really wanted to do with my life and did i want to go back to work because i had lost all my clients and so i was kind of at a standstill right i was at a standstill and so I decided, you know what, let me go back to work. I'm going to go back to work. Um, I'm going to work part time again. So that will at least allow me to work on my business and also be there for my family. Because I knew that I had a daughter that was really sick and she needed, she was going to need me because she was in the hospital in NICU for three months. I had her October 1st and she, was, she wasn't she was due until January. And so she was in the hospital the remainder, the remainder of the time, the three months until she was able to come home. And so I decided to go back to work. So my daughter ended up getting out of the hospital. Um, I end up having um, to put her in daycare like most parents. At the time, you know, I had county assistance help me to pay for daycare for my, my children. Um, I had one, two, three, four, um, up on, all up under the age of six or seven. And so I had four of them in daycare, including my premature newborn, who had got out the hospital, I ended up putting her in daycare too, because like most single parents, we have to have childcare. And so this is what changed everything, you all. This is what changed. So I want y'all to hear me, hear me out. Um, I was at work and I got a call from my daughter's daycare. And they said, we need you to pick Lady up. Her name is Lady. And they said, uh, because she's running a fever right now, she really doesn't feel good. And I remember the day before, she kind of felt like she had a fever. And I remember giving her some Tylenol and the fever kind of broke, but I still end up bringing her to daycare because like most of us, we're just trying to make it. You know, we're trying to do what we can for our families. We only have one, in when you only have one income, you know that your family depends on that income. And so I'm like, okay. So at the time I was at work and there was nobody else there but me. And the, it was about to close, but I end up leaving because they're like, we need you to come now. 
So I ended up leaving um, my job. And I remember calling my daughter's pediatrician to make an appointment to get her in to urgent care. And so I took her, I picked her up from daycare, I took her into urgent care. And I remember the look on her doctor's face. And she said, we got to get her to the ER. And they said, um, her oxygen levels are really low and she has a high fever. Now, mind y'all, I'm at the doctor's office. So imagine my surprise when I'm like, wait, what? Her oxygen is low, high fever. And the doctors are sending us to the hospital. And so they caught the, and, and they're saying we got to go by ambulance. So imagine I'm in terror right now. I'm like, wait, okay, I wasn't expecting all this to take place. So anyway, this is what changed this is the, this is a moment that really changed changed it for me. So the ambulance gets there. They put me and my daughter in the ambulance. They're taking us to Children's Hospital, which was the hospital she was in when she was a premature baby at two pounds and three ounces. And we're in the ambulance. We're on our way um, to the hospital. And I just remember looking at my daughter and... She just at that time looked lifeless and I'm serious. Like she just looked lifeless. And I remember as we were in the ambulance and I remember we were moving really, really fast, but I felt like I was in slow motion because it was just all these thoughts were just going through my head. I was afraid. I was scared. I didn't know what was wrong with her, but I knew that it was something that wasn't right. Um, and so I, um, just was really into my thoughts at that time. And excuse me, thank you. I was into my thoughts at that time. And we're on we're in the ambulance and we're moving fast. But again, I felt like we were moving slow. And um I just remember thinking, what God, what's wrong? What what's going on? And the next thing I know, my phone rings. My cell phone rings. And I look down as I'm already just fully in in just afraid terror mode just all these racing thoughts and it's my job and I answered the phone I started not to answer phone because I was looking like why are they calling me right now but I said I'm just gonna call them to see what they have to say and so um when I answered the phone they said now mind you you could hear the sirens in the background because they're loud and they said Tanisha, we need you to get back to work. And I said, um, I'm in the ambulance with my daughter. You don't hear the sirens. And um, they just kind of got quiet. And I just remember in that moment, and I thought to myself, I said, and I told them, I said, I'm not coming back to work. But what I meant by I'm not coming back to work, in my mind at that time, I told myself, I mean, period. Like, I'm not ever going back to work for anybody again. That's what I felt in that moment. And so when I got to the hospital with my daughter, come to find out she had pneumonia. She had aspirated in her lungs. She could have died if I wouldn't have taken her in when I did. And the only thing that kept playing in my mind is they asked me to come back to work. And my daughter was could have died, you know. And so that showed me that these corporate jobs, the only thing that they care about is how you can benefit their company. And my daughter, they could have cared less about her. Even the fact that we were in the ambulance, they could hear the sirens. It wasn't a thing to them. And so if my children's life is not valuable to you, I don't need to be at this job. And so that day changed my life because I knew I was not going back to work. I needed to be there for my daughter, who later on at two years old was was diagnosed with cerebral palsy so it's a good thing everything fell into place anyway but again like i said god prepares us for these situations because after that moment this is when i knew it was time to get it right this is when i knew that i was going full force I didn't care. I had put my faith in the Lord. I said, I'm stepping out. This time, I'm going to build a six-figure business. And that's exactly what I did. 
but this is my journey and what I had to go through to get there. So I'll see you in the next video so I can finish telling you um, how I finished my journey out to building a six-figure medical billing business. Bye.